So Donald Trump is our president. <laughs> I wish a motherfucker would send me back to Korea. I dare you to, I dare you to try. Hey, please don't, I love this country. <laughs> Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Motherfucker, am I sweating like a motherfucker? Why I got it? Why I got sweat on? <laughs> now, recently, a subscriber asked, "I have been doing really well with my life, but it seems the more successful I get, the people around me start to hate me even more. Whenever they are successful in what they're doing, I feel happy for them, but they don't do the same for me. Is there something wrong with me?" Oh my God! Pero I know the type of puta you're talking about. Listen here, dude. I feel you. That is like every other person on this mother fucking earth. Listen, just to make you feel better, yesterday I read a science article that stated that till this day people cannot figure out why when somebody else does well, there's this thing that tends to grow up their ass. I just, can I get a clap top please? I wish a bitch would. It's that concept of you can be friends with someone as long as you're not successful or you're not more successful than them. You're feeling like shit? Yup. Well, that's my boy. This bitch. Trust me, you are not alone. Everybody in their life will eventually find their group of fake homies that will stick around you until they start feeling shitty about themselves and start developing an inferiority complex. That's a big fucking word. Because hopefully you're the type of friend that was saying to yourself that I'm gonna do well, I'm gonna bring my homies up with me. But what they took it as was, you think you are soda better than me, huh? First of all, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Let's start with that. Yes! There is a certain type of person in this world that in order for them to feel better about their position in life, they have to bring down somebody else and talk shit about what they're doing in their life. Life. And let me clarify something before I continue. What, what, what is this, a hand puppet? You can have an opinion on anything and that's perfectly fine. And that means whether it's positive or it's negative. That's up to you. You can have those thoughts. But if the only way for you to feel good about yourself is to wake up every morning and shit on someone else's success, look in the mirror and say, hey, Nobody loves me. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is that you are a sad individual. Finger snaps. I fail to understand why someone else's success, especially somebody who is close to you and is supposed to be your personal friend, hurts you as an individual. Why? Finger snaps. Just because somebody else is doing well in the things that they are doing, doesn't mean that you're doing shitty in what you're doing. Or if you aren't progressing in your life, use the success of your friends as motivation to do better. Because I guarantee you, if you have the time to sit there, gripe and complain and talk shit about somebody else's stuff, then I'm pretty sure you're not doing shit with your life. So get off your fucking lazy ass and do something. Now let me give you an example of what I mean. I'm a YouTuber that did not go into Vine. Now when I started doing Vine, I got a bit of a following. I had like 100K followers or something like that. And I didn't like the platform. I couldn't stick with it. I hated it. Now if you ask me now, do I regret not doing Vine and continuing with my following? No, I have no regrets at all. And the reason why is because, you know, it's being deleted in your face, bitch. All those great six second videos are now gonna go to Instagram where they're a full fucking minute. Yeah, thank you for that, by the way. This, by the way, is every Vine video ever now. Holy shit, mama, is that a booty? Put that shit in slow mo. Were you looking at my girl's booty? At excessive gunshot right here. Damn, that's a fat ass. I'ma beat your ass because I'm her boyfriend at a gunshot right here. Oh no. That's my fucking opinion and I'm allowed to have it. But I will never say about any of those people who are doing these type of stuff and doing well in their scene does not deserve every fucking bit of success that they have. As a consumer of the content, I can have an opinion about it whether I like it or not or why I don't like it or why I hate it. Their success is fucking well deserved. It's not what I'm doing and it doesn't take away from my success. People have to learn how to congratulate others. That's what it is. Are they more successful than me? Do people know them a lot more now? Do they make a shit ton more money? Yes, but when I... <laughs> so anybody out there, if this is you, you have to ask yourself a few questions. If I was happy, would I have the time to hate someone else's joy? A joy that doesn't hurt others or perpetuate any type of negativity. Do I have to crush that to make me feel good? Listen, happy people don't do that, bitch. Happy people are too busy being happy. You can't be walking around looking like a puckered fucking asshole. I'm happy as fuck. I walk around giving people compliments and hugs for no fucking reason. Hey, those titties are nice. Your ball sack is nice and tight. Coochie looking right. At the end of the day, if you are doing great things in this world and accomplishing things without stepping on others you ain't gotta worry about people like that because here's the thing for people who do this you can go ahead and sit there and talk your way out of not being sad and realizing that you're in a terrible position in your life that you have to do that to others but 
that shit will disappear one day and that realization is gonna hit you like a fucking rhino dick in the face. I was doing so well. So my friend, what I'm telling you is be positive and show your success through your positivity and that will in turn affect others and you will surround yourself with those type of people as well. Just be careful for sharks, be careful for people out there that will put you down and if they do, call David So up and I'm gonna call somebody else who's bigger than me, who knows how to fight, who's a lot stronger and is not a bitch. I got your back from a distance. Oh man, my self esteem is low. Finger snaps. So don't you think you're like better than me or something or like whoa? In with the white, I cut the wise and up, ooh, ah, Every morning and shh, whoa. Finger snap on that one. And this, it's not, it doesn't look as cool as I thought it would.